Hi, welcome to the channel. Um, I'm gonna talk about thrifting. These are the type of items that I buy at the thrift store. I buy several machines at once and I try to sell them to make a profit. This is a Core i7 HP all-in-one. Those are the specification. I'm gonna review all the prices at the end of the video. That's eight gigabytes of RAM. It can play um, a lot of games at 60 FPS. Um, for instance, I was testing it out on Fortnite. It ran just fine on Fortnite at 60 FPS. I did put an upgrade on this machine to an SSD. And let me go to the video card specs and show you guys. It's a R7 M360 with one gigabyte of RAM. It's a fairly new machine as well. These are all gaming computers. Well, most of them are gaming computers. I'm going to do a, a feature video on this one that I purchased as well. I bought a separate video card for it. This one's actually listed on eBay. So that's the other one. This is a Core i7. With a GTX 1060. This Core i7 is the third generation. All these machines are i5s, fourth generation. I do have a powerful machine that I purchased at the thrift store. It has fairly brand new components with high-end components inside the machine this is a core i7 six core fifth generation a high-end gigabyte motherboard with a 850 watt thermal tape gold power supply i have a nvme ssd inside Has a liquid cooling um, liquid cooling pump, Corsair. These are racks of games that I've been accumulating. It was full, but I've been selling a lot of consoles. Here's some other items. Digital cameras. Kind of have a couple of them. Some knickknacks. I have more located on the storage section. and a couple of laptops that I'm working on. I did have a bunch of them and I did have a bunch of Macs. They were all sold. And this little guy is pretty cool. This is from, uh, I forget the name of the character that's in the movie. Oh, The Night Before Christmas. But I did forget the name of the character. <laughs> and I'm going to show you the items of the consoles. What's left. Like I said, I've been selling a lot of them. The only thing I got left is a Nintendo Wii U. Controllers. And a PS1. But anyways, uh, let's get to the prices. 
for this all-in-one I purchased this one for $44 for this R7 that I'm using I purchased it for $89 by the way everything is listed on eBay or um, my local apps this other i7, the third generation, I paid $59. The other rest of the other computers like the i5s and the Dell, I paid $29 for them. The only reason why this one was so low at the price because they couldn't test it out. It didn't have a power adapter. I knew that most of the time these things works and it, the screen didn't look cracked and I inspect a lot of things to determine that they just got rid of it because they couldn't find the adapter for it. But the funny part was I did ending up finding the adapter for it. At the end of the day, I waited and waited and the adapter came out and I purchased that for about 10 bucks but overall it's a pretty good deal I can surely make more than a couple hundred percent of my profit back because I can sell those machines uh, quite a bit easily at 400 and above But anyways, thanks for watching. I'm going to be posting more videos daily. So hit the comment and the subscri subscribe button. And you will see future items posted on my thrifting finds. And if you do want to see some tech videos on how to repair some of these, let me know.